Good morning, afternoon. Uh, my name is Robbie Clark, if you don't know that already. Started off plain simple, sixth grade. I was the first time I was ever suspended for striking another student. Then in seventh grade, I was suspended and didn't care who was watching. I did what I wanted when I wanted, how I wanted to. Would curse at everyone, even my teachers. So I keep going, eighth grade, I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Started smoking cigarettes and weed. Then I even started drinking alcohol. By the middle of the year, I started drug dealing to some kids in my classes, buying cigarettes from them. I kept dealing and doing what I wanted until I was suspended and started reading my Bible. At first, I yelled at, uh, I yelled at and cursed at a teacher in ISS in school suspension, and one of the students said to me, wow, you're a Christian? So I was so insulted that I started cursing at him. And then I got suspended in suspension. Until a week later, I was invited by Liz Gimignani to Fear Factor on May 8th of 2008. So I went to Fear Factor, had a great time. We didn't like the whole worshiping thing and the hated jumping and dancing and all that. I was saved that night and said a prayer with Joe Saratelli. So he said to come out to church on Sunday, so I came and hated it. There was too much jumping again, and I, the music was way too loud. So I never came for a long time. I would either sit in the car for both services when it was 90 degrees outside, or I would yell at my parents saying I want to go to church and sit home and play Xbox. In other words, my idol. I came out on Sunday. I came out one Sunday, and my sister asked Pastor Bruce to come out to the car and talk to me. So he did, and I was really mad, so he started talking to me. And then Pastor Bruce came out and asked me why I wasn't coming inside for a youth group. And my mom, I was yelling at my mom. I was like, Mom, if he comes over, I'm really going to hit him in the face. Which was, I would never do that now because he does karate and stuff. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> when we left, I flipped out at my mom. Honestly, I was a jerk. I didn't care. I, was, I didn't care I was acting until I started feeling sick inside, dirty, disgusted in myself. I felt like I wasn't giving anything my best. So one week, like Dave always asks, what is worship? Everybody says, giving God our best. So I felt convicted to give God my best and push through the battles and fight the good fight of faith. So now that I've been saved for two years, God called me to be a youth pastor and to be a school teacher to fight the good fight of faith. So my life verse is Ephesians 6, 10 through 19, and Ephesians 6, 19 through 20. Thank you. Robbie. Hey, Rob. How you doing? Do you believe in Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yep. Do you understand that in baptism you're identifying yourself with Christ's life, death, and resurrection, and now becoming a part of his bride, the church? Do you commit to follow him all of your life, not only as your Savior, but your Lord? Amen. Amen. All right. Left-handed baptism. Left-handed. You got it. Then in the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of this church, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father God, I come before you, Lord, and I just lift up Robbie to you, Lord, for this is a wonderful day that he has declared you as his Lord and Savior yes, Lord. and identified himself with you, Lord. And Lord, I just pray for a blessing over top of his body from this, for over top of him from this day forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.